Yeah, like one of the other coins we talked about here, like Pong K and stuff like that. Like this is actually look at this. It's a great chart. Look at that. It's just yeah. consolidating right here. It's kept. It's basically look, it's being protected look, around. Look, look, look at that last consolidation. Doesn't look too different, does it? Huh? Nope. Doesn't doesn't it really. Almost the same. Like in terms of time, I wonder how much different that is. It's probably not too far and different in terms of time too. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> it's basically a couple months and stuff. It's like, like these coins. I mean, not it's this isn't like a like a hard and fast rule, but like it is. Like, I do notice it's like a two month sort of thing. So big, big pump. Another thing pumps, but then that coin is consolidation. If it survived, this is consolidated and survived. It's it's kept itself above a two hundred million dollar market cap. That is very rare for meme coins. So this is. I mean, it's safe. I'm safe to say this punk is going to head to a billion. It's not very hard to tell like on Solana, but it, they just need Solana to rip. For this to hit, so this has got a pretty solid 5x in it, pretty safely. So, um, pretty good, man. I've got a nice bag. Um, yeah, I'm sitting on a nice 10x on this bag. Should have, it should have been a 40x, but <laughs> but uh, I was slow to the trend, but it is what it is. But it's good, it's a good token, and this is why I like, like, I my, my thesis is if the meme can make me laugh, I invest, right? Like, like, I, I mean, I haven't played this in forever and stuff since it's. I'm a little rusty on the YouTube game right here, but like, look at this stuff. Punky on me, funky monkey, punky pump it, price jump it, hop in a new whip, paid for by punky. I'm just too lit. Somebody say something. A monkey that look like a frog, price look just like a dog's full of some chads and gods. What is this mad I bought? Word to your mother's, this monkey is doing a lot. Take out a hammer, I'm whacking a footer, just cleaning the face. Jumping on Twitter, take over the space. Punky is pumping, increasing the pace. A monkey that look like a frog, pay for my flight to Prague. Touchdown, punky Lamborghini, rental in the garage. She's at my punky, we had a menage. No, she not Nikki, cause I'm too picky. That's why my portfolio is long as a blog. All about punky and why that shit rocks. Punky take over the block, watch. Punky. On me, funky, monkey, punky, pump it, price, jump it, hop in a new whip, pay for by punky, I'm just too lit, somebody say something, punky, on me, funky, monkey, punky, pump it. Yes. You see, that's hilariously funny and creative. That's what I'm talking about. So creativity and they're trying and stuff. Their their Instagram team's really good. Um and that's basically, I just caught them off of, like, Instagram. So, like, a, 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 some of the new normies are coming off of Instagram. And the, most people on Instagram are usually millennial demographic to Xers and stuff. You do have some older, um, um, some older, um, um, what's the younger generation? I've got the name of the generation already. Not Xer. Yeah, the Zoomers. The Zoomers and stuff, right? But mo most of the Zoomers on TikTok are broke. So, they really can't buy much and stuff. Like, their their buying power is nothing. So, um Instagram is going to be one of the main metas. Doesn't mean you you can't see something burgeoning over there, but it, it takes it has to be almost like ten times more popular than it has to be on Instagram for it for TikTok to move it really because most of the TikTok guys they just don't have much money. You know these guys these kids are all like all twenty five and under, and really between fifteen and twenty five, and they're lucky to scratch a hundred dollars between them. You know, versus like somebody versus like Instagram, it's twenty five to forty five, and everyone's working and they have more money, so they can put thousands of dollars down, so you can get dramatic moves in price. So, um, if I look at Ponke Solana right now, right, uh, they're sitting at three hundred and thirty six thousand followers on Instagram. So this is, I mean, their 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 so their main thing is basically they actually have. A, this is why they survived. Is unlike other other memes who are just trying to steal people away from each other. They are actually onboarding people like you're supposed to do. So they're actually getting brand new people, new participants in the market into their coin. And that's what's helping them out. So this is why they've been able to sustain so well for themselves and stuff like that. And that's what I'm talking about, you know. Um, I'm not, I'm not shitting anyone yeah. actually younger than 25. I'm just saying like a lot. No, you it's, have just, to, it's, real, it's, it's literally just facts. It's like, yeah. it's, you know, the age of 25, 45 is where people earn the most money. People before 25, yeah, they're pop, they're important in terms of, you know, like we're talking about marketing and money, right? Like they're important in terms of getting something popular because it gets things popular for everybody else versus, you know, people who are older than 45, like 45 to 55, they'll like placate you. But after you're 55 years old, you're like, you know, the best you're going to get is like, uh, you know, some insurance videos and stuff like that on, on, on advertising because, you know, you're, you're past your prime earning years, so you're not going to be spending as much, right? Like, they just focus on advertising to people who have 
most money in their wallet that are easiest to spend right now. 